Because we've all been in that situation where, you know, you finish work late, you're walking back to your car, and the shadows are playing tricks on your mind. Um, so the Optus Living Network is designed to put the person at the centre of control with features like Optus Call Translate, um, Game Path, which is one of my favourites, and even um, Optus Pause, where you can switch off devices to have some family time. It really feels like there's a want and need from consumers to make technology work for us rather than the other way around. It, it w- I'm joined now by Kate Brody, who's the Director of Digital AI and CCAI um, program at Optus. Uh, hi, Kate. Hey, Doc. Thanks for having me. Would you say that's right, that there's a real need for a want and need for uh, technology to work for us rather than the other way around? Yeah, absolutely. I think that more and more uh, Australians are looking to be connected and there are so many opportunities to use technology to save people time and and really give people the time back to enjoy the moments that you know they want to they want to have it's um going full steam ahead into safety but it's not cyber safety it's using cyber to um to keep our physical selves safe um there's this new uh tile you've got it's called the optus sidekick can you tell me a bit about that optus sidekick is one of our latest innovative new products that we've brought to life where it's really designed to give more australians a bit more confidence and reassurance when they're out and about effectively do the things that they love to do. And if the timer runs out on the Optus Sidekick feature, then um, it will just simply notify their friends to check in on them. And I think what's really great about that is, for example, for me, I love to use Optus Sidekick to go for runs at night. So rather than sure. letting my friends know that I'm going for a run, um, I just set my timer. And most of the time um, I'm I'm hitting back on the timer and my friends never need to know that um, that I did actually set it up. So there is times that you just forget, is that right, to hit the button on the way when you get back? <laughs> yeah, you can, you can. And yeah. I think that's why it's it's actually great. We've, we've got a feature where um, there's an introduction text to your contacts, so they kind of yeah. know that you're part of it. And also I think it's really important to know that, um, obviously, if you're in an emergency situation, you should always, you know, dial triple zero. This is really about just giving a little bit of peace of mind um, when you're out and about. Yeah, I think that's pretty key there, the peace of mind thing, because we've all been in that situation where, you know, you finish work late, you're walking back to your car and the shadows are playing tricks on your mind. Like the the, the situation isn't dangerous, but it, it, it feels that way because because of, you know, the way your mind goes and paranoia sets in. So um, having that peace of mind. Now, just the way the Optus Sidekick app works is that you can nominate three of your closest contacts and they'll call you. They'll get a call if you don't respond when um, when the timer runs out. Yeah, that's really cool. It's a really a neat idea. Um, simple in its in 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 the, in the process, but it, it's never been done before to my knowledge. So, was it born from um, an individual particular incident, or was it from multiple case studies? Um, it's a great question. So this really was a passion project for a group of people from across the organisation at Optus that don't necessarily work together every day. So. Sure. It kind of was something that started off as just a little bit of a um, an idea and a chat around the the office when we were when we weren't in lockdown, um, and and it kind of evolved from there. And we did some research, and it became very apparent that it's absolutely a universal problem that everyone at some point in time is going to feel a little bit apprehensive um, in 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 a range of different situations. Yeah. And do you find that it's uh, mostly used by women, this feature? Interestingly, the research does show that uh, more Australian women do feel worried versus men. However, we have seen that um, there are a range of use cases that people are finding for it. And it's absolutely um, much more universal than a gender problem. Um, We've had people talk to us about how they'd love to use it with their kids um, Mm. and and teenagers and connect and connecting. So I think it's a bit broader um, than just pure safety. And, and that's what's kind of exciting about it. And that's why as a beta, we really look forward to kind of co-creating further with our users and understanding where people really find a lot of value in it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Like you said before, you use it to go running. That's just one example. Um, I'm sure there's many more. Um, is there any outside of the box type uses that people have discovered for it? Um, I think there's been 
um, some great examples of where people have started using it, um, including um, thinking about how they might use it when they go online dating. Um, we've had someone who suggested that they have uh, epilepsy and that they like to go surfing and they see it as a great feature to use when they're out yeah, in the right. surf. Um, so yeah, there's, there's definitely some interesting emerging use cases and particularly from the business um, segment, there's been a lot of talk around how people might um, utilize something like this with their technicians when they're out visiting people's homes. It's another tool in the toolkit. Yeah. Um, a bit of reassurance. Um, and I think that we'd love to see how people use it. Um, obviously, as as we all know, if there's any emergency, we definitely encourage people to dial triple zero. Definitely, um, yeah. But it, it is an, another tool. So currently it's in beta on iOS, which is really exciting. Um, what are plans for Android devices moving forward? Definitely looking forward to rolling out the product to Android. The original thought was to, because we really want to get this right, it was to actually ensure that we're targeting one place that we put the app, really working with people on what they want to see, and then extending that roadmap, including um, going into Android. And already the feedback's been so great that it, it's a given. And so um, we look forward to bringing that to more of our customers soon. Okay, so is there a, a plan for this to, to then eventually make its way onto car devices like Apple CarPlay? Yeah, it's a great question. Right now, we have a huge amount of customers that love to use our MyOptus app uh, regularly. And so at this stage, it's in the app and it's another reason to come in because you're you're able to access Optus Sidekick, you're able to access Optus Pause, Call Translate, all the features that people are increasingly loving. Um, but there's definitely a, a way forward where we would love to have more connected devices. And so um, absolutely that's something that we will be looking to in the future. Um, now, just to clarify too, now this is through your My Optus app. So this is only available to Optus customers. Yeah. And a, a, another great reason to join Optus. Yeah, to say yes. Uh, if nothing else, so it is really a perfect reminder as well also to check in on the community around you um, and also those who are most vulnerable. Um, that's probably something we've learned a lot about through the, the lockdowns, in and out of lockdown over the, over the last year. Um, so can you tell us a bit more about how Sidekick or even other Optus Living Network features can do this? Yeah, I think that... Um, you're right, Optus Sidekick and our other living networks features like Optus Pause, um, Call Translate, it's all about encouraging people to connect. Um, and so we have listened to people talk about how they're using Optus Sidekick to just remind themselves to actually check in with one of their friends. And um, in terms of our, our different products that we do have, I think um, that's an, another thing that we love is with Call Translate, people being able to connect more and more with their grandparents and, and different people that talk um, different languages to people. And so at the end of the day, I think um, if anything, we've we've learned that it's about keeping people connected through this time. And I think Optus has been making a wonderful play towards um, giving that extra value. Yeah. It really is a fantastic idea. Um, like I said before, I don't think I'd, I've seen anything like it before. And it's a, a real thought of using technology in its best possible case scenario. Like this is stuff that helps us in our everyday life. And um, that's what technology is all about. So thanks so much for, for designing it and, um, and, and getting it out there and into people's hands. We can't wait for it to go alpha and, of course, onto, um, onto Android devices as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time.